Guys, this video is insane. Make sure to watch until the end. What's a few things you guys notice from doing that initial first approach? Was it easier than you thought it'd be, or was it harder than you thought it'd be? Yo, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to get a free copy of my book, Nuts, Efficient Dating for Men, so you can learn how to bust a nut whenever you want. And then with further ado, enjoy the video. Guys, what's up? It's just Mark. I just got to Sydney, Australia from Bali, Indonesia. After a 12-hour workday in Bali, and then a five-hour flight where it was an overnight flight, and I slept on the flight. Now we're in Sydney, we're jumping straight to boot camp. I'll see you guys in a bit. So guys, my good friend Sam has flown in to assist me on my boot camp this weekend. And so I'm actually gonna jump in an Uber. I'm gonna go pick him up in the Uber and then I'm gonna head back to our accommodation. Yeah, we're from the same city. Good day, good day, Sam. Good to see you again. Oh, dude. It's been a while. Yeah, bro. Wonderful being here. How you doing? Damn. Yeah, man. Ready for this boot camp? Absolutely, man. Let's keep it. Guys. Oh my God. I just realized. Sam's birthday. Sam, happy birthday, bro. I didn't realize it's his birthday. We love you. Everybody, tell Sam you love him. Comment down below, you love Sam. Whoa, is that, is that Dave Lee? Dude, first of all, looking great. Second of all, great to see you, brother. <laughs> so guys, we all have a lot of potential this weekend. I hope to see you guys push way past your zone. I want to formally welcome you to Sydney Boot Camp. We're gonna jump straight in. Sam, you excited to assist me on this Sydney Boot Camp? 100%, man. It's gonna be great. One of a kind. Dave is a legend. He started a big company called One Man's Life Mission. You guys should check it on YouTube. It's pretty cool shit. So three you think that we're gonna work on. You see what I mean? Um, I guess like cultural problems as well and getting understanding here a little bit better. Um, we're gonna have to work through that as well. There's ways to solve all of these problems. You just need to break barriers down and then we reassess things. So guys, we had started the city boot camp. I'm looking fresh. We got six students back there. Pretty intensive, pretty great. Dave, my good friend, Dave Lee, uh, has joined us for assistant position, coaching with me, alongside me, which is great. He's gonna be helping us out, uh, push the students, giving us that extra little push. It's gonna be a great program. We'll see you guys in a bit. How are you feeling? About to do your first approach. How are you feeling? Let's do it. How are you feeling before you do for your first approach? Oh, I'm a bit nervous, but it's all up to see what it takes me. All right, my legs are pretty shaking. Like, I haven't, I haven't even, I, I'm stuttering. Like, I'm really nervous, but I have a lot of trust in this guy. So I'm feeling good, feeling calm. You excited? Yeah, it goes, yeah. Jump straight in. Look, look at that. Seriously, look at that. You just did your first approach. How was it? Yeah. It's actually pretty good. good. Yeah, yeah, It's a lot easier than you think it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking scary as hell, man. But how did it feel after you did it? I felt a bit calm, calmer, yeah. Like once I get to know the girl. Like, <laughs> Buddy over there, look at that. In my first approach, I was like pretty nervous going into it, but like I'm um, said, just go for it. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to go for it. It was good. A couple of nerves got let out. Um, starting to get a bit of momentum. Would you say it's a lot easier than you thought it was? I've only approached two, so maybe in a couple. To actually get over the emotions in approach, would you say it's relatively easy? Yes, to get over it, it's just one one foot after the other, and eventually you will get out of your own head. Great, and what we're gonna teach you soon is we're gonna teach you how to actually get the results. <laughs> okay. What's a few things you guys notice from doing that initial first approach? Proximity. Like... Proximity. Interesting. Okay. What else? Tonality. Tonality. What else? Boobs. Boobs. Oh, boobs. boobs. I thought you said boobs. <laughs> like you know, boobs. I know some of you. I know boobs as well. Yeah. Nerves. You had a bit of nerves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Was it easier or hard to do that first approach? Hard. Yeah, it was hard? You guys all say it was hard? It wasn't harder than I thought it would be. It wasn't harder than you thought it would be. And it was two girls too, so. And you did two, you yeah. pushed two girls at a time. Yeah. Which is great. So was it, okay, was it easier than you thought it'd be? Or was it harder than you thought it'd be? Easier. easier. So it was hard, it wasn't easy, but it was easier than you thought it would be. Awesome. That's, that's really good to know. That's really, really good to know. On top of that, would you guys say that after you did, some of you guys did a second and third approach. Would you say the second and third one was easier? A lot easier or a little bit easier? A lot easier, right? So a lot of it's just getting out of your own way, getting over that initial like fear. All right guys, so we've been doing about an hour of infield coaching. It's perfect, like when I first did my first approach, my legs were shaking like anything. Now I can just go up to a random girl, random guy, and be like, yes, okay. let's do it. I'm feeling good, fixed emotions. It's, um, it's a lot of hand to go. Yeah. But I've got about eight approaches in. Cool. I'm ready to go. Are you liking it? Yeah, we're gonna take one. Alright, turn around. Go. Who's <laughs> that? Bruh. 
How was that? Oh, pretty easy, man. She was hot. Yeah, she's from France. But you I guys vibed? She liked you? You liked her? I said, let's go for coffee. And I said, uh, give me a number. Then she put it in my phone. Nice. And, then, uh, and have you, like before today, have you really approached any girls before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I have, but not too often or? But, but not these hot girls like this. It's amazing, isn't it? I feel that. Yeah, with your help, you know, I'm able to push my limit and exceed what I thought I could get. Amazing. What's up? I'm, on, I'm in Sydney, not on Sydney. I was gonna say on Sydney. I'm in Sydney. Just out here. What's up? Say hi. <laughs> so, Alex, question for you. Yeah. Um, how was that? Well, first minute, I was like, doubting myself. Well, you almost didn't approach her. Yeah, right? Yeah, I almost didn't. And before yeah. that, approach her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, it sort of flowed, like, and then I sort of got out of my own hair, I started talking a bit more, off the top of my head being more frozen. Will you say it's a lot easier than a lot of people think it is? The first, the first couple approaches, honestly, with, with anyone, it is sort of getting over that first barrier, but as soon as you get over those first couple, you're in the clear. And this girl's probably down to hook up with you, yeah? Yeah, she's, she's texting me now, saying me on me now. Amazing. Good stuff. It really, really blows my mind how I can just walk up to a random city, teach a group of guys this material, and then right away, I've never met any of these guys. They start implementing it, they start getting results, and they start meeting beautiful girls and start having these crazy intimate experiences. It's so fulfilling being able to teach this stuff. If you guys ever do want to work with me, one on one, personally, all you gotta do is message me right here. Drunk Justin on my Instagram, message me. We'll work one on one together. Uh, we'll probably end up in the same city working together on a boot camp or immersion curriculum. We'll see you guys later. It's recording now. And Whoa. <laughs> What brings you here? Are you serious? What are you? Going to New Zealand. Guys, I actually met this girl in Magnetic Island in the northern part of Australia. You know me. Coming to party with me tonight or no? Sure thing. A few moments later. Anki, what's up? Did I say your name right? Ooh, Feeling good. guys, look at her tummy. Do you think? Do you think we can get her pregnant? What's up? Oh, man, Happy what's birthday! By the way, it's Sam's oh, birthday. Dude. Everybody, it's this guy's birthday. It's his birthday. Everybody, it's his. It's his birthday. Oh my god, guys, you know what I like about colder weather? I mean, it's 22 degrees, Bali was like 40, Northern Australia was like 40. Look at my fashion, guys, look at this shit, I look fucking sexy. Oh yeah. Anke, you're not my type, you're not hot enough. You got a nice, like, hip to waist ratio, but that's all you got going for you, to be honest. Oh! God damn, guys, we are at this big ass line. At this big ass club, should be good. Should be a night. Killing it, Aparash. Killing it. That girl gave you her number? Yeah. You lost it. I lost Go it. Go get it again. Hey guys, what's up? This is McDonald's. I met this girl Sophie. She has a boyfriend, but she's gonna shoot him with me tonight. Guys, look who it is. Oh my god, it's Rebecca. Oh my god. I met this girl in McGangic Island. Now we're in Sydney and now we're hanging out. Yay. Say hi Rebecca. She's shy. Alright guys, we're we're gonna get Rebecca to prank my students right now. She's gonna walk in and like pretend to be me. Be like, hey guys, what's up? Good morning. I'm Justin. Welcome to the boot camp today. Go, 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 go. There they are, there they are, there they are. Go, go, Rebecca, you got this. <laughs> you guys just got fucking pranked! Gotcha, bitch! Alright guys, we are now gonna debrief last night. Guys, how's last night overall? Everybody have fun? Ooh, Rebecca yeah. is our new bootcamp student. <laughs> Welcome to the bootcamp, Rebecca. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna chat about last night. Everyone did great last night. It was really fun and intense. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Raise your hand right now if you experienced something last night that you thought was out of your comfort zone, that you thought was amazing, that you thought was a win. Everyone, Rebecca, how about you? Now you were not with us. Hey, did you experience something last night? How about you? Yeah, man. Sam, how about yourself? Yeah, Dave, what about you? Did you experience anything last night that you thought was awesome? <laughs> you got wet in your pants? Yeah, I got wet in my pants. Alright. 
<laughs> so, all right, so I met a girl yesterday near a bar, and today she's ready to fucking hit me up and meet me right now. It, it's the girl that kept telling you to go get her Instagram, and like you lost yeah, her number twice. Yeah, like I lost her number twice. Go her Instagram once. You like reproach her like four times. Four times, much. easy. And then today she just hits me up like, oh man, I was really fun last night. Right now, she's running into you, and then hit me up when you're free. So I'm like, yeah, for sure. Set up a date with her and hang out there. Yeah, sure. A time in your life. Maybe it was in childhood, maybe it was, was when you were a kid, where you just felt at peace, you felt, where you just overall felt happy, fulfilled, you just felt yourself. I want you to think about this inner child. I want you to think. Whatever comes up, just let it come up. I want you guys to slowly come back, come back to life. How do you guys feel? Chill. How do you feel? Yeah. Really good? Yeah. How do you feel? Yeah, I teared up. Teared up? Really Got a little bit like emotional? Some like blockages and stuff. You feel like you were able to let go of some blockages? Yeah, and I felt like I was able to, um, like the full saying sorry thing to like mm -hmm. my inner child. That was like impactful. It's I never okay. really thought of that. How do you guys feel? Amazing, 100%. good, 100%, 10 out of 10. How do you feel? Pretty good. So guys, this pretty girl Rebecca, I met her a while ago. She's been hanging out with me today on boot camp. It's been amazing. We did some really deep inner work with the students. She's got a Tinder date at eight o'clock and I'm convincing her that this guy's gonna be terrible. Like, let's be real Rebecca, you and I both know it's gonna be a shit Tinder date. It's gonna be awkward. You're gonna be like, I wish I wasn't there. And so instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Rebecca shopping, buy her a nice outfit, a nice dress for tonight, and she's gonna ditch his Tinder date. She's gonna tell him he's got a family emergency. And she's gonna party with us and the students no instead. So, see you guys at H&M. We'll see you guys very soon. Wait, 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 stop for a sec. Hey, Matt, Michael, can we meet up Monday? I have a spontaneous job interview. She's got a, a job interview. <laughs> Nice. I actually have a job offer for you. So, I mean, technically you have a job interview. I could hire you to be a coach for my business. What do you think? Yeah, you want to be a coach? I think I'm not a good coach. You don't think so? No. What are you good at? What skills do you have? This is your interview right now. You're not lying. Technically, you're not lying to Michael. I'm, I'm like a big mama, you know? You're a big mama? I care about people. You care about people? Can I hire you to be my maid? I, I need I need an au pair to take care of me. Are you down? Yeah, I'm down. I, like I can barely take care of myself. I, I, sometimes I'm like, how the fuck am I running a business? Like, what? The, I don't know the fuck I'm doing half the time, to be honest. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Just hard work. I guess that's what it is. Yeah. Anyway, were you ready to party tonight? Are you excited to party tonight? Right now? Tonight, no, tonight. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, let's get food and then party. Let me finish boot camp. Teach fashion curriculum. I'm gonna go buy you a dress. And then you get food and then you charge your phone and then party. Look, guys, if you want to get a lot of girls, you need to fix your fashion. Would you agree? No, your fashion's pretty good. Uh, yours is actually pretty good too. Akarash, we need some work, bro. 100%. Fashion is the most important part of socializing, and I'll tell you why. It causes people to essentially pre assess and judge you before you even talk to them. So fucking key. So huge. Does it make sense? Guys, me and Rebecca, we're just shopping. Rebecca, stop being shy. I am doing fashion with the students. The students are out there picking their outfits. Me and Rebecca, we're looking for pants for Rebecca because her, her cold legs. Poor girl. Oh, poor. And uh, we're gonna catch up with the students in a bit, see what kind of outfits they pick out. It hurts me. Dude, it, it almost like makes me emotionally angry with how good you look right now. Oh, what really? the fuck? Sonny, yeah. I gotta say, you're looking pimp, dude. Looking pimp. Look at that. Look how different it looks. Yeah. I mean, you look so much better, dude. And your clothes fit. You just need a really nice belt. That's it. Looking pimp. Looking yeah, pimp. Yeah. Alex, no homo. I'm gonna fuck. I'm fucking you tonight, dude. Forget, forget Becca. I'm gonna ditch her. <laughs> she ditched her Tinder date. I'm gonna ditch her. I'm gonna. I'm going. I'm going home with you tonight, baby. <laughs> Looking pimp. I'll see you tonight. All right, guys. So after a long day of coaching, meditation stuff, shopping. And adventures, me and Becca, we are gonna go home. We'll see you guys later at nighttime. Bye bye. A few inches later. All right, guys, got ready for tonight. Today we did the fashion curriculum of program. And uh, it's really important to have a good fashion, good fashion sense, a good sense of style. Because when you go out and you meet people and you're being social, it's so key to look your best and dress appropriate to your personality. You're so pretty. 
Boop. All right, guys. So that being said, we'll see you at the club. See you very soon. All right, guys. We're getting the Uber. Hello, sir. How are you? Guys, today I want to talk to you about why you should constantly improve yourself every day. Think about this. If you work yourself 1% every single day, after about a year, you're like at 300% better. So that's like three times better than you were at the beginning of the year. So a lot of people don't realize this. But just think about how if you were just to like get a little bit better, even like 0.1% per day, just think about how that works. Over years and years, you become such a stronger version of you. Um, we're gonna talk about that more in this video. Stay tuned. Why do you look so good? What do you think? Do you like him? You like it? You like? You like? It's about to lose. My blood made a case of it. Tomorrow. Ooh, guys. Ooh, I just woke up. Fuck, I'm so tired. Last night was very fun. Very exciting. Ooh, yeah. It was good. It was a good time. And uh, that Becca girl I was hanging out with. She's a really, really, really cool girl, if you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, today we're gonna do boot camp. It's gonna be interesting. We got the Mardi Gras parade here in Sydney. Should be a good time. And uh, we're also gonna probably shoot some street interview content. Quick little smoothie bowl, got that kombucha. And, uh, we jump back into boot camp today, guys. We'll see you guys later. All right, guys, so we have our day three of boot camp. So I run these four-day boot camp coaching programs. They're awesome. Um, and turns out today is like a gay pride Mardi Gras thing going on, which is cool because there's a lot of hot girls out. Uh, so it's great to meet people, socialize, and just have great fun. And we're going to shoot a cool street interview soon. See you in a bit. Guess what? We are in Sydney right now. There's a lot of people out because it's uh, gay pride stuff. Pretty wild. Pretty crazy. Say hello. hello. Guys, we're at the Mardi Gras thing in uh, Sydney. Is that where we are right now? Yeah, yeah. I lose track sometimes. All right. All right, guys, we're running around on boot camp. Students running around talking to girls. And then we're filming content. And I'm filming this vlog for you guys. So I really do hope you appreciate my hard work because I'm always fucking working my ass off like the disgusting workaholic I am. So make sure you like this video. If you like this video, I will purposely come to your house and suck your cock. I won't do that, but uh, I do hope you like this video, guys. Please, please. Hurt so hard, please. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep. I'm so tired. God, guys, it is craziness out here. If you guys ever want to meet the most amount of hot girls in the shortest amount of time, just go to like a gay pride party or like a crazy festival. I guess you'll just see hot girls everywhere you go. It's pretty fucking crazy and it's really intense. And uh, you'll see meet a lot of lady boys as well. So all that being said, the students have been out crushing it on their own today. Uh, they're posting in the group chat telling me all the awesome results I've been getting. I actually had to go back and take a nap because I was just so fucking tired. We filmed an awesome street interview as well. So it's been a very productive day. Um, and now we're gonna go out for nighttime. We'll see you guys in a bit. It's just insane. How many people are out partying right now? Whoa, pretty intense. Pretty weird, pretty lit. All right guys, what's up? I just made some new friends on the street. Say hello. Hello. And you guys are, are from Colombia, right? Yes. Si. yes. Colombia, yes. si senora. Sorry ladies, I now have a girlfriend. This is my new girlfriend. She's from Colombia. Damn, damn girl. Okay, say hi. Okay, I have two girlfriends. Two, two girlfriends. One, two. My Instagram is drunk Justin. Drunk Justin. Follow me on Instagram. Dude, what the fuck? Ho, 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 ho. I don't know about you guys, but I am in pickup heaven right now. Oh my freaking goodness gracious. Uh, okay guys, this is weird. I just met these girls and they came up to me in the street and they've seen my YouTube videos. And I think. so we've seen your friend Sam. Your friend okay, Sam. so you've seen Sam? Okay. 
Oh, nice. You guys are pretty. I like your outfits. Are you guys Instagram models or porn stars or something? Porn stars. Oh, nice. That makes sense. Hey, we just did my boy. Guys, you make me feel very uncomfortable. Also, smoking is bad for you. Don't smoke. Hello. What the? Really bad for you. It's disgusting. Throw it on the floor. Bad girl. How old are you girls? Are you like 18? I'm 19. Don't you know smoking is gonna make you ugly? You guys are such pretty young women. You guys shouldn't be smoking. It's gonna make you old and ugly and wrinkly. Do you think we're pretty? I think they're pretty. I think you're you're average. Damn. Okay. Guys, she's motorboating my titties. Hey everybody. Me. Guys, I wasn't joking. It's fucking lit out. Yeah. Girls keep sexually harassing me and trying to objectify Wait, my body. Uh -huh. Guys, what is up? It is our last day of boot camp. Guys, I'm so fucking tired. I honestly give my all to these programs. Like, you guys always see me traveling, partying, me and girls doing all kinds of crazy stuff around the world. I don't really take that too seriously. It's just fun, it's games, it's interesting. But when we're coaching, I'm trying to solve people's problems, problems they might have had for years and years, and we're trying to unwire that stuff, psychology, psychoanalysis, and understanding where they're coming from and breaking that stuff down. So let's go do a debrief, check up on the students, see how they did. And guys, I'm so fucking tired. Ooh, so see you in a bit. <laughs> how do you feel after this weekend's program? Free, I want to be myself and I want to get out. Freedom, man. Free! Comfort. Comfort? Okay, alright. Oh. Awesome. Man, this whole week, I've made more fucking approaches than my fucking age. And I'm 22. I've made more fucking approaches in one hour than my fucking age. So would you say that this weekend was impactful, life-changing? 100%, 100%. It was life-fucking-changing. Like, I'm not going out the same person I came in. Like, I came in scared, like, Fucking my first day, like my knees were fucking shaking to like talk to girls. Now I can just talk, go up and like approach any fucking girl and I'll be like, yeah, Instagram clothes are fuck. Dude, this guy's a fucking legend. Wow. Dude, awesome. She's like, well, oh, fucking man, dude. Pam. I fucking like boot camp so much. I don't like it, I love it. Dave, by the way, thanks so much for helping me coach this weekend. Dave, honestly, is one of the best dudes in Sydney. If you are in Sydney, check out his YouTube channel, One Man's Life Mission. That's right. Yep. YouTube search, One Man's Life Mission. Awesome dude, brilliant individual. He's actually one of the guys who helped me out a lot when I first came to Sydney with content, with game, with even just understanding. I, I remember when I came to Australia, I couldn't understand how to get laid here. And then I eventually like took his advice and I started getting laid. You know what I mean? So, brilliant individual, great guy to learn from. How's the program? doesn't cost too much, but you will get a thousand times more out of it. Just do for it, go for it. I think it's been a very good program because I've learned a lot in terms of fashion and also uh, intent and many different things like vocal tonalities. Just a lot of uh, overall spread of um, how to deal with fear and being, uh, you know, being limitless in life and, you know, just killing it in day game, night game and whatever, man. Done things I never thought I would have approached before, never thought I would, but uh, just even more than that, just being around Justin himself, um, his energy, his mindsets, his enthusiasm, it makes me feel like all the problems that I had were quite small and insignificant. The things I was worrying about was kind of small in the big picture of things, and that really motivated me and that wanted me to inspire me to change, just being around him as well and the energy. And uh, now that I can bring it out to other people as well and share it. Let me see. How many girls are in your DMs? Dude. Is that girl verified? Okay. Where are you getting all these girls from, dude? Code approach. Yeah. Like, I just approach them on the street. Like, what's your Instagram? What were, you, were you showing me just now? You are showing me something. Yeah, no, look. Uh, this one, this one was ready to have a fucking threesome with me. Oh my God. And so, literally, I was telling Sunny, like, I haven't gone out of my house in like four years. You haven't gone out of the house in four years? Four years. Like, I was sitting at home playing like fucking video games, beating my meat. Like, not talking to a single fucking soul, not talking to a girl at all. And now I come on Justin's program, he gives me like that fucking confidence, that fucking drive. I just go out there and fucking just fucking conquer the world now. And I just get all these fucking girls in my DMs and like, 
it's crazy. Like I'm just saying, like just do it. Like it's just like that Nike app. Just do it. Baby, you're telling me you met this girl. You met her. 100%. You cold approached her. Yeah. You got her to DM you on Instagram. Yeah, she didn't DM me, but like yeah, cold approached. <clears throat> you guys talking on Instagram? Uh, I call her. You call her? Yeah, I remember. You see what I see? You see what I see? I see an instant date. That's what I see. I see an instant date. Do That's it. what I see. Do it. Ooh. Dude, she's like trying to make herself look pretty. She's like fixing her fucking outfit and shit to hey. make sure she looks pretty. They're buying condoms. Oh, they're buying, buying condoms. Buying condoms. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Like she's from Thailand. I just met her now. Your name is? Jam. Jam. I'm Sunny, she's Jam. I just met her. She's so adorable. Just look at her bag. This is bag, the gold bag. Oh my god, it's like it's so beautiful. It's so cute. Okay guys, I'll talk to you later. What have you been up to today, bro? Pulling fucking chicks. Do it, just fucking talking to as many chicks as I can, man. So proud of you guys. I'll see you guys next time, man. Yes. Keep killing it. Pimping it. Think with, with Justin's uh, pickup, you know, what I wear and shit and how I feel when I walk into the office, to the government office, I'm gonna close business deals, big thousand dollar, hundred thousand dollars worth of business. Just through the aura and through the presentation and the confidence and people are gonna be like, fuck, fuck, I need to buy it from you. If not, you're gonna sell it to someone else. Please, please, please sell your resort. Please sell it to me. Sing her goodbyes. Sing your goodbyes. I'm fucking love Justin. No, no I'm tears. literally gonna cry. No like, I'm not joking. I love this guy. Dude, like, coming into this program, Justin charged me like $3,000 for it. Fuck that. This is worth more than $2 million fucking dollars. Way more than that. Honestly, like, I've gotten so much value out of this. Like, I've done so many approaches, number close. I learned this for the rest of my life. I'm learning to become a real estate agent. This and game, I'm gonna be fucking so, so impressed with them. I have no words to thank Justin. Like honestly, like fuck this, yeah. <laughs> fuck yes. All right, guys. Sam and I are finally leaving Sydney. Sam's heading back home. I'm heading to Melbourne to see my good friend Jamie and uh, another friend Damien. Um, yeah, cool. It was funny. We were checking out a accommodation. They were like, "Hey, uh, were, were you guys running a uh, some sort of like coaching program?" where you teach guys how to have good nights out. And I was like, well, I'm, I do consulting. But you know, honestly guys, my name is Justin Martin. I'm an international dating coach and relationship expert. And I teach you how to be a naturally charismatic version of yourself. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys very soon. If you guys ever have any questions, any concerns, you wanna learn how to be on one of these live coaching programs, all you gotta do is message me right here on my Instagram, drunk Justin. And we'll get you signed up, get you enrolled, and it will change your life. So that being said, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out. Bootcamp guys, absolutely amazing fellas. Um, 100% the positivity, the energy, the vibe, and just what we learnt, man, is worth so valuable. What we put out, we raised the bar on, it's just gonna help you in every aspect of your life. This shit will change your life, man. Samuel, thanks for joining me this time around, bro. I'll see you next time, man. I'm gonna miss you, bro. Man, look forward to it. Hello, sir. What's up, sir? How are you, sir? Very well, how are you? All right, guys, my homie Damien picked me up from the airport. Shout out to Damien, fucking legend. And we just got to Melbourne, Australia. I've been here a million times and here for another two days to catch up with some of the boys. Pick out the Airbnb. Here we are. Got the master bedroom. We're gonna fuck so hard on that. We're gonna make some boom boom. And then uh, got a little balcony. Not bad, overlooking the city, cool. Oh, oh that was another bedroom. Dude, I'm nice. so Crash, crash, man. <laughs> Woo! All right. I didn't, I didn't know it was a two bedroom. All right. Did that, did that girl just walk into the window? <laughs> Look who I'm with, though. I got hey a guys, Jamie. What's wait, up? Before we actually um, say that you're with me, we just got to show the viewers. No, we're not going to. It's oh, fucking oh, Justin Carter. How are you? How are you, man? Good, Good to see you. <laughs> His name is uh, Justin. 
What's what's your last name again, honey? Aguirre. A G U I A R. A U A G U I A R. Sorry, I forgot my boyfriend's name for a second. <laughs> what's your contact number? Oh, just call my number. 0406. Five. Yep. Um, two thirty for his sexual health appointment. He just recently recently went to Africa, so he's put himself at a bit of risk. Oh, you're not the doctor? Oh, you're the receptionist. Sorry. See you at 2.30, honey. Yo, my man, like... Honestly, Justin, like... You have inspired the fuck out of me as well. <laughs> I'm not even just saying that. Like, just seeing, like... How you're on your grind, how you're hustling, and, like... You're doing things, like, within your own niche, and you're, like, absolutely crushing it. But... Apart from that, like just from one man to another, you're just a genuinely good dude. That's what I like. And like you really got me interested in like pick up this shit as well. Like take yesterday, for example, like we were out, we were just bouncing, chilling a bit. It was just a chilled out vibe. And you went home and usually I would go home as well, but I was in a state of mind. It's like, yo, I still need to pick up a girl. I actually went in with the intent of like, I need to do some game. They didn't do that, fuck that. So I stayed and started gaming and opening people and just got into a flow and opened like this cute fucking Russian model and took her back to the villa and she's coming by tonight as well which I don't know just like that state of mind wouldn't have happened yeah so basically what I'm trying to say is like I love meeting you I love chilling with you this week as well and this is definitely not a goodbye like we're gonna see each other again and I wish you all the best and like yeah see you next time guys I love games because you meet beautiful girls. As I'm speaking this, I have another girl in my bed and I met the hottest girl tonight. She's from Denmark. She's a model. She looks like Margot Robbie. She's fucking perfect.